Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js type ORM and the Postgres. Today we are going to learn about this. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So I have already made this Next.js type ORM Postgres connection with the CRUD API, right? So here we go with this one. So I will show you what exactly I have done. So first of all, we have to restart the project. Okay, so um, here we go with the start of the project. And first of all, we have to check with the NVM use 20 because node we have to shift then NPM run dev. Okay, and this will run the project. If I just open the link and here you can see that I have fetched the users of that table okay so here you can see that the users are fetched over here if i go to the post pg admin so here we go with the data so here you can see our database user table and we have the data that is test and the aa you can see that the data is reflected over here this is the users get all the users right so we will go with step by step. So first of all, that the first one is the get API to get the users. You can see the list that uh, we are have the users. First one, get the users. Then we will post the users. Okay. Then we have the body. Then he, here we can add the BB data name. And here we will add the test. 99 at the millimeter. Then send the request. And this is added. If I go just refresh this. And you can see that the new data record has been added. So first is get request. Then we have a post request. After this, we have to go with the put request. Okay, that is an update. So I want to update the data on the row number 16. So I need to add over the params like 16. And I want to go with BB2. Uh, anything like Rajni, I will add Rajni Khan Chaudhary. Okay, so I have added this one. Let's uh, send this and this is updated. Let's have a look of that one that uh, this BB should be changed to Rajnikan. You can see that it is updated. That means path, put is update is already working. Now we have the next request that is get by ID. So I want to get the record of 16th. So here you can see that 16th record is this one. Let me first go with the users, the records. So here we go with the, let's check the ID of that one. That is 16th Rajnikan. So I will go with the ID 16th. You can see that. But here ID 14, something is there. Let me check this where we go with the terminal. Okay, so let's go and check last one that is a delete part is pending so i will check with the delete so here we go with the delete one and this is record number 16 i want to delete then send the request to user deleted and the one data the 16th one has been removed okay so the full fledged crud api that we have already done okay the get one we have to check okay so let's dive into the code level how i have done this postgres type ORM and the next JS. Okay, so the it's rare tutorial on the internet also. So I have made this and if you like the video, please don't forget to like share and comment on my video. Okay, so let's go with the structure. So first of all, how to create the project. So first of all, you have to use npx create next app my next app. Okay, so but this to be a type ORM, whatever you want to take the name of that one, you can give the name. Then you have to install the package that is type ORM and the PG. Okay. After this, in the source, in the app, okay, we have to create the endpoints, right, for the APIs. So here we have an API users. This is the params routes. And then this is simple routes for the get requests. Okay. Then we have a DB and the connect.ts. And then we have entities user.ts. Okay. And this is this is not required pages. So uh, this is we can move to the trash. Okay, so this is a structure. Okay. 
and in the page.tx we have rendered the simple users calling the api of the users and render data over here in the li okay that you can see over here that we have rendered right so this is one api so you can create a full fledged over here like update delete or everything ui but i have just rendered that one okay so let's go step by step with the files source app api users first route so this is the get request okay so here we require the db connect for the connection type orm next server from the next response then entity that we have to use okay so first one is the get request for getting all the list of the users this query we already know that await repository find that will return all the users if something goes wrong it will go with the error fetching the users okay so this is that one then we have a post request so first of all we should we will go with the connect database so if the connect database is not connected then it will not going to fetch the data okay so post request okay so first we will go with the request join so first we request the json data then we are going to create name and the email and the save the data in the repository okay and return the saved user if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block that uh, error creating the user and we are returning the message error and the status 500 okay so this is the two apis this is the get one this is get request and the post request okay get all users and create users okay and second one second api is that we have the required the parents id so the method is like api users then we have the id that is the route okay slash id then routes okay so here we go with the next api next response okay next server so here we have to go with the user entity okay then first one is the get request first we will check that one why it's not showing the data okay so i think we should go with this one let me add this because the get request is not working from our side so let me add this over here okay and we will go with the params.id over here params dot id and i think we should go with like this if it is not working then we have another method that is this one i have already added over here the user okay so let's add this user params id find one by if the if there is a user then it will return the data else it will show that the user not found status 404 Let's save this and go to the get request first. And here we go with the users. We have a 14 and the 15. I want to get the record of the 15. Okay, let's try to send. And you can see the record 15 is updated. Then now you can check with the 14 record also. Okay, you can there. If I go with the 10 record, which is not exist, then it should show that the user are not found. Okay, so this is that one. <laughs> so the this is the get by id okay so here we have the packing database use it repository then first we will find with the params id if not then return the next response json that user not found status 404 and if uh, and if found then it will show the user data okay else catch block is there and return the response with the error dot message status 500 okay then we have a delete option right so request params id should be number and here we have to go with the, again the same thing that we have to find one by the id if the user is not there then that user not found if there then delete that data with the row id and return that the user did it successfully and the status 200 okay catch that error deleting the user and return the next re response json message and the status okay the next one that we have a patch or the put update api okay so here we require the params and we also require the data so request json data so here you can see that if i go over here the put response and here you can see that in the body we are sending the data okay so this is that one and here we have to go with the put request okay and connect database first check get the params id first we check that the user to update the id 
if the user is not there then we will go with the message like next response dot json message user not found status 404 and if the record is found then we have to get the name email with that user and up save user to repository because we are getting the data of the that user by id and then we have to update the name and the email if it is a new one then it will update the user and save that in the user repository and return response next response json updated user okay if something goes wrong it will go with the error updating the user return next response.json message error dot message and the status okay so this is the crud api that we have done the last step that is the connection db connection that is very important okay so let's open the db connect.ts so here we have a user entity okay so here we have the connection manager so here we have a type postgres host port username password database entities so here you need to go with the entities if you have a multiple then i think you should we should require the full project of the entities that show that it will create the tables into the database logging that is true here you can see that the logging is enabled so logging is there right okay and here we have await the connection to connect that the console.log type or i'm connected so if i go over here the terminal you can see that the type ORM connected. Okay. So here you can see that whenever I have a query, it will say that the type ORM is connected. Okay. After this, they get the connection. And um, here, whenever we try to con connect the anything. So here you can see we are, you are using await connect database. So here we have a connect database. So it will get it from here. Okay, so it will do the connection manager and connect to the database. Then it will fetch in the data or breaking the data or deleting the data. Okay, so this is the CRUD REST API with the NestJS, Postgres and the type ORM. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.